The glamorous wedding ceremony between Maiwa Wishimo and Uchina Dobiogie, which attracted a robust attendance of big wigs in the society, was held on Saturday, the 1st of February 2020, at the Trinity House Water Corporation Drive, Uniru, Victoria Island, Lagos. The parents of the bride are Mr. Chike and Mrs. Olufunke Ogie, while the parents of the groom are Mr. Bayo and Mrs. Victoria Awushemo. The bride's mother hails from Agoiwoyi in Ogun State, while her father is from Asaba in Delta State. The bride's father, Mr. Chike Ogie, is a lawyer and administrator. He was the Commissioner for Information under the Dr. Duaga administration in Delta State was a two-time former special assistant to two chief economic advisors to the president of the federation. He is the vice chairman of SACO, Sky Power Aviation Holding Company Limited. The father of the groom, Mr. Baya Ushimo from Ikiti State, is a veteran media communication and public affairs specialist who was one of the very highly rated staff members of the NCA in its heydays while the mother of the groom is from Esako in Delta State. The bride, Uchin Nadobiogi, works at ExxonMobil as a chemical engineer. She has a BSc and a master's degree in chemical engineering from Aston University in Birmingham, England, while the groom, Maiwa Wushimo, is a graduate of Bradford University, where he got his first and second degrees in economics and international relations. He currently works at the Federal Inland Revenue Service. In attendance at the church service were Dame Abimbola Fashola, former First Lady of Lagos State, Lady Maiden Alex Ibro, publisher of the Guardian newspapers, were important personalities. The church service began with a processional hymn titled Blessed Be the Tie That Binds, which ushered in the bride, Uchenna Dobyogi, and her father into the church. Declaration by the senior pastor of Trinity House Church, Lagos, Pastor Ito Aigodalo, to welcome all to the joyous occasion, followed next as the choir led the congregation in songs of thanksgiving and praises to the Lord. <laughs> The Bible reading for the service was taken from the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 to 25, which explained God's purpose for instituting marriage and principles to make marriages blossom. The joining of the couple by Pastor Ito Aigodalo followed next as Maiwa and Uchen Adobi, having declared their love for each other through their vows, were joined in holy matrimony in the presence of God their parents, their family members, and friends. My dear Uche, My dear Uche. Accept, this ring accept this ring as a token, as a token. Of, my love of my love and a symbol, a symbol. of our marriage. our marriage. As these rings are made of perfect metal, may our love be perfect. As these rings are endless, may our marriage be endless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the symbol of my of our marriage. As this ring is endless, may our love be endless. As this ring is made of perfect metal, may our marriage be perfect. I give it to you with all my love. And whenever you wear it, this Lagos girls will never see you. Lagos, Japan, or China, they will not see you. You become invisible to all the girls with this fine boy. Amen. Accept this ring for me, my dear. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear loud amen to that? Come on, let's hear. After a very special song rendered by the choir, Pastor Itwai Gudalo presented a sermon during which he admonished the couple to work towards the success of their marriage. He also told them to encourage one another and urge the groom to help his wife grow and fulfill God's purpose for her life. He added that patience and understanding are key ingredients in making any marriage work. What I want to say to Mayowa and Uche, you have to succeed in life. You have to succeed in life, which is my goddaughter, by the way. And the day she was born was one of the happiest days in my life. And I'm glad that I am alive to give you out in marriage this very wonderful day. So this marriage must succeed. My one, you have to succeed in life, and this marriage must succeed. I want to thank both your parents for working very hard and spending a lot of money to bring you up together in the manner they, that they have. I want to thank Funke especially for making sure that you brought up my daughter in an extraordinary way. We thank God for all that he has done and I really, really appreciate everything. But going forward now, they must both work this journey alone and together. Now you are going to go on this journey with Mayowa by yourself. Mayowa, you are going to go on this journey with Uche by yourself. I'm sure your father has taught you many things as to how he has kept this faith going. My prayer is that all that you have learned will be useful for you in this journey ahead. Following quickly was the signing of the married register, the blessing and presentation of the couple to the church, which was followed by an electrifying Thanksgiving service. <laughs> The recessional hymn brought the service to an end as guests moved to the venue of the reception. The reception party 
held at the Harbour Point, William Mott Road, Victoria Island, Lagos, had important personalities in attendance. Right Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Governor Dakwa Biodo of Ogun State and his wife, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodo, former Ambassador to Zambia and Malawi, Chief Folake Marcus Bello, Mr. Namdi Okonkwo, Managing Director and CEO Fidelity Bank PLC, Mr. Uche Mwokede, SN, who was the Chairman of the occasion, Mr. Shogun Wolowo, Executive Director of Nigerian Export Promotion Council, Honorable Abike Dabire Rewa, Chairman and CEO Nigerian Diaspora Commission, Senator Larry Tejosho, Publisher of this day newspaper, Prince Indukar Bagbena, the Chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bissiel Atilo, the Chairman and CEO Channels TV, Mr. John Momo, Richard Morphy Damijo, Nigerian actor and former Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Delta States, among other very distinguished personalities. There was a very huge assemblage of colleagues of the groom's father, Mr. Bayo Awushimo, from the NCA family, dating back many generations from the 70s till date, who had come to felicitate with one of their own. The event, which was compared by a renowned public relations practitioner, Mr. Yomi Badejo Kunsoya, began with the entry of the groom's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Awushimo, which was followed by the entry of the parents of the bride, Mr. Chike and Mrs. Ulufunke Ogie. Thereafter, the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Mayowa Oshimo, stormed the arena as they were cheered on by their train as the DJ dished out very good music. <laughs> Accompanied by the bride and train. Don't they look good? In the remarks of the chairman of the occasion, Mr. Uche Mwokede, SN, he congratulated the couple and wished them well as they began their marital journey as husband and wife. He afterwards supervised the cake cutting exercise. And what you do from now on is that you hold tight to your husband. And Mayora, you hold tight to your wife. If you quarrel or disagree on anything, 
to resolve it before the end of that day between you. No friends, no family should get involved in your relationship. So it's between Marawa and Uchenna. And basically, everybody stays clear. And I think that with the exhortations of Pastor Itua today and the grace of God, you will do well in your relationship. And our prayer is that nine months hence, we're called for christening, baptism, dedication, but we're called anyway. The father-daughter dance and the mother-son dance were observed, which led to the couple's first dance. Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dr. Biodu, also congratulated the couple, describing the occasion as a joyous one. He prayed that their love will wax stronger and stand the test of time. Today is indeed your day. Let me first congratulate both of you as you step out on this journey of life. My prayer is that. This indeed would be a blissful experience for both of you. Having found the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. I want to pray that the God Almighty continues to struggle with you, that indeed your love will continue to work stronger and stronger. I pray that both of you will live long enough to see not just your children, but they will to see your great grandchildren. In the same vein, the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, said the couple have started their marriage on a solid foundation. He admonished them to work hard to keep it going and prayed that God blesses them and make their marriage fruitful. And good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. I will show you the latest couple in town. Let me say very big congratulations to you. Uh, my prayer for you is that you will have a long, blissful life. You will procreate, you will reprocreate. You will have children and grandchildren. I'm so grateful to be here today. I'm excited to be here. And my prayer is very simple, like I said. I wish you God's best. I wish you all the best as you go along. I wish you blissful married life. Some of us have been doing this for years. Let nobody kill you. It's not easy. It's not even easy to do with somebody as a roommate, let alone as a husband or wife. The twin sister of the groom, Muraola Awoshemo, during her toast to the couple, revealed how she played a role in the meeting of the couple some 10 years ago. She described their relationship as one built on friendship, understanding, patience, and trust for each other, and wished them all the best in their union of love. Following quickly was the throwing of the bouquet of flowers and the vote of thanks by the groom, who thanked everyone for coming to share in their joy. Thereafter, 
the Asaba Ladies League, a group where the bride's mother holds the position of secretary, made a special presentation to the couple and prayed for them. The ceremony of love, joy and thanksgiving ended on a high note as the vintage band electrified the atmosphere with very good music. <laughs> Biscon Communications congratulates the newlyweds Mayowa and Uchenna Dobia Wushemo and wish them a lifetime together in love, peace, and good health.